I'm Pinky Sparkles and welcome to this special edition and breaking news of GNN. Did you know that Stafford County was just recently announced as the fastest growing county? And in addition to that, it ranks the top 20 wealthiest in the country. And in 2021, Stafford was ranked number two as the richest in the U.S. of A. And with more information on that topic, I'm going to throw it over to our Stafford senior correspondent, Virginia May. Thanks, Pinky. Let me give you a couple of great reasons why Stafford County is an amazing place to be. So it's perfectly situated between DC and Richmond. So you have options of commuting. If you're flying out, you can hit the Richmond Airport, Dulles, or Reagan. The other great thing about living in this area and why it's such a popular place to be is because of affordability. So what you can get for a house here around the $500,000 mark, which is about the average here, is a lot more, maybe with land, horses, a swimming pool, or even possibly a lawn the water. And if you're looking up in DC, you're definitely not getting that up there for sure. Another great reason that Stafford is a popular place to live is because there's so much to do here. We have wineries, walking trails, we have all kinds of history. And if you're looking for weekend activities, there's tons of them and you could even find some of them on the Stafford County Parks and Rec website. Or you can visit us on our personal Facebook page. We upload for the weekend all the activities that you could find. And one of the other great reasons that Stafford County is a great destination for for you to live is the school system. If your child's looking to play a sport or they're looking for specifics in academics, Stafford County Public Schools has it all. So with that being said, what are the cons? Well, there's really not many of them and they're difficult to find. Hey Virginia, quick question for you. I wanna know, and I'm sure our viewers do as well, what is the market actually doing right now in Stafford County? Absolutely, and thank you for asking that question. So the average days on market in Stafford is about 30 days. So what does that mean to you as a buyer? Well, you've got a little bit more time underneath your belt, and we're starting to see the ability to ask for things like home inspections and even appraisals. So Stafford County, although it's growing, Market is a little bit difficult. Yes, you're gonna compete, but you do have a little bit more time to make that decision. And the average sales price in Stafford County is about that $500,000. And I can tell you that property values have continued to go up at about four to 5% over what it was last year. So if anyone's worried about property values, you don't have to worry here in Stafford because property values are continuing to hold and climb. Thank you so much, Virginia May, for that in-depth report on what Stafford County is looking like today. Now, for more information on the weather, let's toss it over to Sunshine. Good morning, Sunshine. Thanks, Peaky, but guess what? It's actually evening. Not really too sure what's in that coffee on the table. All right, let's get to it with the weather. So as we all know, it is springtime and it is absolutely beautiful. The cherry blossoms are blooming as well as those tulips are coming on up. So the average temperature right around now is in the mid 50s, maybe 60s. And we all know we just left winter behind and we had no snow this year. A Little bit unseasonable, but hey, Welcome change, right? Maybe, maybe not. But let's talk about what's coming up. This winter, yeah, it was pretty, pretty mild. And even this summer, as you can see here, we're probably headed into that 70 degree weather not too far from now. We know what typically happens here, people. Spring hits and it's gone in a blink and then we're at 70, 80, and even 90 degrees. So make sure you go and buy that sunscreen, that hat, and get your bathing suit and flip flops ready because when we hit June, July, and August, it's gonna be hot. Well, thank you so much, Sunshine, for that amazing report. And I wish I was able to be outside there and enjoying the beautiful sunshine, too. And with that, we're going to toss it over to traffic. Hey, what's happening, Jenny Lanes? What's going on out there? Thanks, Pinky. So where is Stafford County? We're about 35 miles south of the DC Beltway. And to give you a little idea of the commuting options and what traffic is like, well, that hot lane has hit Stafford and not only hit Stafford, but it's on its way south down to Fredericksburg at this time. So commuting makes it a lot more easy if you've got that three people or more during those heavy traffic options to get north or south for free. And in addition to that, We've also got the VRE, slug lots, van pools, and many other ways that you can commute north or south. And that's the traffic for right now. Thanks so much. Well, I must say I am a little bit happy that I'm not outside and I'm sitting behind this desk and not sitting in that traffic. Thank you so much for that update, Jenny Lane. And with that, we're going to toss it now over to sports. Where are you, Just G? What's going on in our community? Yo, it's G! Are you ready for the sports? Cause here we go. So Stafford County is home to Embry Mill and Embry Mill has an amazing set of fields. Let me just tell you a little bit about them. They've got AstroTurf fields, they got real fields. We've got soccer fields, football fields, flag football fields, you name it, 
We got it here in Stafford. And we also have indoor swimming pools, competition pools that is, and we even have two year-round swim teams if your kids are looking to get in the pool and compete year-round. We got that too. And here's a really cool thing that you folks probably are looking for, pickleball. Yes, pickleball. It's here right now, people, in Stafford County. You want a sport? We probably got it. Volleyball? Yep. Football? Yeah. Soccer? Absolutely. And golf? We've got golf courses in Stafford County, too. You name it, we've got it. We've even got water sports, too. If you want to go out and paddle, you probably could rent a boat. Just kidding. Actually, not really. And what else do we have here in Stafford County? We've got an amazing resource called Stafford County Parks and Rec. So if you're looking for specific activities, maybe just a one-off or a trip somewhere away from the area to do something athletic, Stafford County Parks and Recs probably has you covered as well. So what's that mean for you? There's lots to do here in Stafford. And we've also got all those high school sports, so whatever you're into, I'm sure you can go get a ticket and watch them play. This is G coming to you live with the sports. Thanks, Pinky. Back to you. Thank you so much, Just G. And it sounds like there's a lot of great activities to be doing out in Stafford. And with that, I'm going to toss it over to the best part of the news, at least in my personal and humble opinion, to the feel-good story. And let's throw that to Ginger Walker. Thanks, Pinky. I'm Ginger Walker, the team lead of Give Back Team over at Coldwell Banker Elite right here in Stafford. And what we do is we make a donation back to the charity of our client's choice after they've bought or sold real estate anywhere in the Northern Virginia area. And that's a really cool opportunity for us to get to learn about local charities that we might not even know about. But in addition to giving money, we also believe in giving our time. So you might find us out in the public school collecting for the backpack drive, for example, or we also do Phil Dr. Bear's Closet, which helps Children's National Hospital, which is not only in DC, but also in Fredericksburg. And one of the favorite things that's also near and dear to my heart is we'll go and do the adoption day for Stafford County Animal Shelter, where we go in and not only pay for all the animals, but our goal is to get every single one of them adopted. So what do we believe in? We believe in doing good things. And where does it start? Right here at home in Stafford County. Thank you so much, Ginger Walker, for leaving us on a high note. I'm Pinky Sparkles, and thank you so much for joining me this evening, afternoon, or early morning, whatever time it is for you, at GNN. And this is Pinky Sparkles, signing off. Till next time.